Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will tell you what benefits the milk we drink has to plants and how to apply which milk in what proportions. As I have described in previous videos, it will not be enough for us to feed our plants only with water. can also be very efficient and useful when we give milk to our plants. Thanks to the calcium in milk, it is protective and nutritious for plants just as it is for humans. If you give milk to your plants regularly, you can get rid of insects such as ticks, sapling lice and aphids. Instead of using chemicals and expensive liquids to disinfect your garden tools, you can clean it by taking advantage of the antiseptic properties of milk. If you want to prevent rotting, fungal disease or mildew of your plant, you can pour milk on the surface of the plant by diluting it a little. I would like to say it is useful to put organic combined foodstuffs into the shape that the soil will accept before using them directly on the soil. So leave the milk you will use in the open with room temperature for 2-3 to three days and use it after that. Some manufacturers apply milk powder to the soil to meet the plant's calcium needs, accelerate its growth and remove rodents. Now let's see together what processes we can use milk for and in what amount. For insects in our pot or soil, we should add 1 measure of fat milk and 3 measures of water to mixture that we need to prepare. And use this mixture every 10 days. By mixing the milk with molasses, you can increase the power by 2 times. So what is molasses? It is a sugary, brownish and thick liquid that is seized as waste at the fabrication stage in production of sugar beet and sugar cane. You can easily find it on the internet. Because insects do not have pancreas that can digest sugar, it becomes an ideal insect repellent. So how should a mixture of molasses and milk be? A glass of milk, 3 cups of water, and half a glass of molasses should be enough. You can use a mixture of molasses milk before planting your plants in the soil or after the insects come out. How can we use our milk mixture for tomatoes? You should especially use skim milk to protect your tomatoes. It protects the tomato from disease and rotting. You can prepare it with mixing 1 measure of skim milk and 10 measures of water. Spray this mixture on the leaves of tomato. It will be useful to prevent diseases if you use it every 2 weeks. How should we use it on cucumbers? To protect the leaves on a cucumber, you should use a skim milk like how we did with tomatoes. It protects the cucumber from rotting and disease. Prepare a measure of skimmed milk by mixing 10 measures of water in the same way and spray it on its leaves. You can use it every two weeks. We can also use this mixture for peppers, useful for aphid and mealy bugs formed on pepper leaves. Especially spray under the leaves and separate the aphids that are wet with your hand. Calcium in milk accelerates the development of pepper. For pepper, you also need to use a skim milk. Mix 10 measures of water into 1 measure of skim milk and apply 1 for two weeks in the same way.
Three days after spraying, we can see that there are no problems on the leaves of cucumber, tomatoes and peppers and that they look very alive. If you also like this video, don't forget to click like and please subscribe to my channel and activate the bell to watch my next videos. We'll